hello, hello. You guys probably thought I forgot. I promised you a Friday Facebook Live. Almost did. <laughs> no, I have a pile of things over here to share with you. So I'm just going to wait till everybody kind of joins us and then we can get started. So excited about the holiday weekend. It, it looks like it's going to be like picture perfect. I'm not into the, the 90s and the humidity. So like the big puffy white clouds and the bright blue sky and the cool little breeze and 75 to 80. Oh, that's that's kind of perfect. Could have that all year round. So let me, I'm just checking my email real quick. I'm watching for a couple things to come through while we're waiting for you. So I apologize. But um, we're going to start off. We have the Mini I.O. Hybrid Ink Pads back in stock. Um, we have two available. I'll have to look at the, um, I think we have them for either like 114 or 125 for the complete set. Um, they list for around 150. The last time we got our order in, what happened is they put them in these containers um, and in shipping, they didn't seal them. So when we opened the box, it was like a hot mess, if you can imagine. So out of four, two were perfectly fine, and the other two were um, a mess. So anyways, we finally got our replacements in, and now they tape them really well. So um, I would assume I would just use this maybe as a temporary storage um, and find another way. We have some really nice little containers from Tailored Expressions that actually would fit your inks. You can keep them here. I probably would turn them um, over upside down because this side is deeper and actually open it in this direction. And they do give you the names on the back too. So, um, but I.O., pads are one of my favorite ink pads. They are my go-to pad. I use these all the time. I love for the fact because I do get a light, medium, and dark. I don't have to think about it. If I'm putting something together, um, I, I just love the quality of their inks. These are what I use for all my blending when I use my stencils. Um, other times I will add in other colors if I'm looking for a particular shade of something else, I'll add them. But these are like one of my favorites. So we do carry the full size and we are, we have the, um, the mini ones now. So thank you guys for joining me today. Remember we're doing a Facebook live. Okay. A couple things that um, came in on my spellbinders order that I may have forgot to mention that, um, keep selling out as soon as we get them in are the paintbrush dies. From Vicki. I'm not even going to attempt her last name. Papa Wood. Um, I'm not Greek, so I couldn't tell you, but Vicki. And here is the paintbrush with the butterflies. And you can see that. And this is the paintbrush just with the drips of paint. Somewhere in the store, I have a sample of this. Um, that once we find it, will you? We'll put it up together with the products. But the paintbrushes keep going in and out of stock. They're really selling quite fast. And um, this is just a cloud die. So you get a, a variety of different size clouds. This is this and grass are some of the dyes that are most often asked for by customers um, in the summer. So we have a cloud die. We have a couple other companies, I believe, but um, that's a new one. We have this new um, Studio Light Essential Dye. And if you can see, there are tons of pieces, parts and pieces, little tabs, binders for pages, um, decorative strips. And on the back, they give you this sample. I, I, I think it's a really cool little um, pocket journal. And um, I'm gonna be working 
um, on a project with this. So I'm really excited to get this one in. Studio Light has a bunch of cool um, dies with lots of pieces, kind of like Elizabeth Crafts. They work really well together. I don't know if you guys remember this. The die cut craft and bond. Janet, can you just run and get me a piece of scrap paper and grab one of these die cut scrap and bonds? We're going to actually show you how this works. Um, if you grab the scrap and bond, it, oh, and a piece of scrap paper. We had this in probably three years ago. Uh, hold on one second. Um, and then it was so popular, it, it, it kind of sold out. Oh, do we have colored paper? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be picky. <laughs> so it's a roll of double-sided adhesive, and it is about four inches wide. And this is um, great for especially sentiments. I gotta be careful with this exacto knife. I probably should have closed up. So what you're gonna do? It's adhesive on this side, and your paper on here, and let me grab a die cut. See, I don't think it's big enough. Oh. Just pick. I'll do this one. This is a new die cut from IO, the fish. Um, but this this is one of the things that I will use a lot when I have my sediments. Grab my die cut machine. I'm using the chrome plate in the big shot so I can cut right into that chrome plate. So my adhesive is down, my die is on top. So what you pretty much have created are stickers because there's adhesives, adhesive on the back. And let me grab that piece of white paper. Oh, Janet, Janet, can you shut the music? Just hit the music off. I forgot so they don't shut us off. Hopefully they're all on vacation. So just peel the back off and it becomes a sticker. So this is great for all those sentiment um, dies that you have. And it's really a strong adhesive. And we'll just finish these later. So die cut and bond, awesome for all your die cuts. People are always, you know, yes, I use my little glue technique, um, but sometimes, you know, the adhesive is a great addition to another way to 
adhere all your die cuts. Okay. So since I kind of showed that first die, we have a whole um, new collection of new stamps and dies with the beach and summer theme from IO. This one is called the fish set, and that's what I used over here with that die cut. This is an old one, but these are nice little accents onto cards. The um, kind of the mini seashell die set. We have the small sea turtle die. So you can see it's definitely going to be an outline. And this is where that tape would really work very well because trying to adhere any kind of liquid glue to the back of that very fine die. Um, in fact, let me just show you how good this will work with something like this. We'll do this one really fast. Make sure that I get it on the part. So once again, the adhesive gets attached um, to your paper. And you want that white side down. I'm going to die cut on the top. I just have to pop out all those little pieces. But I don't know if you can tell, this all has adhesive on it. So that is going to st stick really nice to my paper. I don't have to worry about um, trying to apply any, any glue. I'll finish this part later, but so you can see how nice that is. So yeah, those really fine, intricate dies this is like a blessing. So let's put my little seashell sea turtle back in. Oh, Carol, what was your question? I wasn't looking at a question. If you had, let's see. The, the tape comes on a roll, so you just cut off what you want. Um, I, at my roll at home, so if I have little scrap pieces, I just, you know, take whatever little pieces that I have left of the adhesive and just stick it back on the roll, because sometimes you're looking for a little scrap, just enough to do a sentiment, and you have it in a scrap adhesive piece, so. Okay, so here is another die called fish. So you have the whale and the, these tiny little kind of goldfish. These are probably perfect for little shaker cards. And then you have these for your other cards. Love the crab. And you can see you can put little wiggly eyes on him. That would be like really fun. The roll is 4.7 inches by 27 yards. And it is $25.99. And it lasts forever. Like, I, gosh, I can't even tell you. I probably, you know, my first roll, how long it lasted. Um, we have the flip flop dies. And you get two sizes, and you got the little things for your toes over there. We have dolphin dies. You can see the different sizes. We have the beach chair and beach umbrella die. So making a lot of summertime scenes would be fun with these. We have the palm tree and hammock die. This is one full die to create a scene. I see that on the back. The pelicans and pilings. And I like that you're going to get that texture in those little 
pilings. The sailboat die scene, another nice card. Um, that would be great for a masculine. Um, somebody was in it earlier, and I said, oh, you won't be able to see it, but um, I thought that would be more open. But the mirror cardstock that we had last week that had that blue and green, that would be beautiful on there. So we have the fishnet die, which is one of my favorite kind of like little background dies when you're layering things and sometimes it doesn't have to be in beach scenes it's just a texture die so this is actually really nice a new stamp set is called take me to the sea and they have these cute little whimsical all these little um, sea creatures a couple sentiments there is a coordinating die that also goes with this set Here is another Stampin' die set. They're um, separate, but there is a coordinating die. This one is Seashore and Shells. I love the detail in these. And then the coordinating die that goes with that set. So those are the new items from IO that are available. We got a couple new embellishments. We got to order in um, from Ecstasy Crafts, and these are new kind of rose embellishments. So you have the cream and the white, and then we have this pastel version. And their price point is really good. They're three ninety nine. They're probably a good half inch. Not that you want to see it, but I think I'm, I'm not sure if I showed you these. Um, we have some new stamps from Creative Expressions. We have uh, a collection from Sam Poole. So we have the, the snowman. We have the stocking. And we have the mitten stamp set. Kind of folky, which is really kind of cool. And then we have the gingerbread. And gingerbread are, it's something like a lot of people will ask for at Christmas, and not many companies will have gingerbread, so we got this one in awfully quick. Our 3D toppers. I ordered Christmas early because it never fails. The ones that I want to get in are always sold out, so good time to get them now. We have the Christmas letters. We have Christmas trees. We have the winter doors. And I believe that all of these are new, pretty new designs. We have winter joy. And winter scenery. We sold out of this one really quickly last time, and we have more back in, and let me just show you, if you're not familiar with these, how these work. If I could get the opening. These make, really, you can make beautiful cards with them super fast. So in this particular, package you get one two three four five six seven eight nine nine little envelopes and each one of these will make a card front and in each there should be three designs This is your base, this one is your first layer, and that's your second layer. I just use my adhesives, pop dots. This one's a little bit too high for me, I kind of use the, the lower ones. And 
then you're going to place it directly on top. And then you have your third piece. Can't get much easier than that. You don't have to color, you don't have to cut, you don't have to do anything, you just have to like pop. And then um, you just, you can match your papers and um, make a really great set of cards ready to go for whatever you need. You know, put your sentiment on the inside and then you're done. So this particular one is called the Bird Houses. But they're pretty much all the same. Not each set will you get nine. Sometimes you get eight. Sometimes you get ten. It depends on the, um, the images. So I'll put that one in my things to do when I have time to finish. <laughs> um, we have the hummingbirds. We have the blue and purple flower collection. And you can see... Oh, here's an, oh, I think Winter Joy we had. Um, flower mail, just envelopes, kind of vintage style envelopes with different flower designs on them. We had the flowers in the cup. And these would be a really cute one for like Get Well, I think. I could see using that for Get Well. And a new one, Dwarf in Spring. So you have all these little gnome guys. And they're adorable, they really are. They're like super adorable. So those are the latest. And those are the, from Hardy Crafts, the 3D toppers. Like I said, these are like super easy. I know I see a couple names on there of people that have bought them before. Um, just kind of, you know, they're so easy. Like you could just put the pieces together, put them in a little container, and when you need a card, just put the, the rest of it together. Now this is new. Once in a while we get these. There's not as many designs as there are in these packages. These are the 3D relief stickers. And these are 3D stickers, so you can put these right on a card front just by themselves. You can group them together to make a design or use them individually. Also great for package toppers. Okay. We have um, a small order in from My Favorite Things. And as I look around, I don't know where Mark put the other designs. Um, these finally came back and stopped uh, in stock, so I grabbed them really quick. They have these cute little adorable bees. They're called honey bees and some sweet little sentiments. There is the coordinating die that goes with that. And then they have the standalone beehive um, die, and you have that little kind of kind of movement stitch die. It won't cut anything out. It'll just kind of cut into your paper, and you put it at the tail end of the bee. How sweet is that? And then we got some of their new beach collection stamps. Now, I see, Mark put them all out. Let me go grab them. Hold on one second. So you have the Beach Cabana die, and there's a little die set, the accessory, that has like the little surfboard, a beach ball, a life preserver, little add-ons that you can add to this. We have the palm tree die, which I think, um, this is a cool die. Um, it's a nice size. You can see this is the base, so by the time you put the top on it, 
um, and then you have the little coconuts and then you have the little birds that you can make that scene with and these would be really sweet on the side of the beach bungalow and there is a little sediment set that is just really good even you know with this collection or by itself don't worry beach happy sending good vibes soak up the sun hello sunshine happy summer some sunshine to brighten your day so a nice collection of sentiments in this one and this is called the itty bitty summer and then there is a larger set and this one is called life's a beach and you have um, bigger sentiments don't worry beach happy you're a lifesaver happy retirement sending you sunshine and i love they have that mixed font so some of these are beach related but some that you can use any time of the year so that is mft and here's one more from io that i found when i grabbed the other ones um, you just have the little um, beach chair scene with the umbrella um, time to relax enjoy every moment so this is new from io and this one is called beach chair and the last thing it is hero art shop box release day a um, couple times a year we get in a box we can order a box of it's like a surprise i have no idea what i'm ordering I just get a collection of new designs that are coming out from Hero Arts. And it's kind of a preview to their new um, Christmas collection. So this is what we, we got in. So I'm gonna share that with you. Okay. Now, these are not online. So for those of you watching that want any of these i will go through the names of each um, set and you can call the store and we can um, have you pay for these over the phone we could ship them we could mail them whatever you can come in and do in-store pickup but um, there's only like three of each for now we are going to reorder uh, um, probably sometime this weekend so if there's something that you really like just you could mention it here and I'll try to watch that but if not you can call the store okay so this one has its sentiments and you can see the style the sentiment this is warm wishes joyful and seasons greetings and this particular set is called season word fancy die DF091 if you look at this there is this snowflake die which is also one of their new dies and this one is called the snowflake corner fancy die df074 and that's what was used with glitter paper in the top corner and then on the background of this, they actually just used a snowflake dye and did tone on tone. The other thing, you can email me and let me know if you're interested in any of these. Um, if the store is, um, you know, if it's after hours and we're not here, just email me and we'll make sure we set these aside for you. All right, so that's one set. Okay, here is another sentiment set. This is two from Happy, Sparkle, and Holidays. And over the years, you get really good at reading backwards. So it's the same style font as this particular set. And this one is called Holiday Words Fancy Die DF090. see what else we got we did a class with the um, the looking glass and we're really excited because they have two new additions for the holidays for the looking glass 
and we have the holiday kitty and you can see you have like the little bottom of the tree you have the ornaments you have the little kitty you have the rug over here and this particular one is called the looking glass holiday kitty die cut the other looking glass is called cozy christmas in this one we have the tree we have the staircase we have the presents and putting them together you can create this type of image and this one is the looking glass cozy christmas df 088 and um, we had a customer come in earlier looking at some of the other looking glass dies and it was like one of those aha moments um, because there was something that she didn't like in one but she had another set and she got another set so because these are all the same sizes you can interchange the different sets to create your own designs so kind of kind of remember that this one i love the pumpkin this one is called the pumpkin bunch bundle so in this the way it's sold it's a stamp and die already in one and Here's a card that was made with that. Now there is a stencil. Um, I didn't get the stencil in this collection. There is a stencil that you can also order with this to shade and ink using a stencil to color your pumpkin. And it also has um, the faces for like a pumpkin for a Halloween pumpkin that you can make on here. So this one is the pumpkin pumpkin bunch bundle sb334 this is the holly berry stamp and cut xl and they have several releases of these and this is a big really holly background and you have the mistletoe and a bow and i love the size of all these sentiments you get all these sentiments with this that you can use with this but you can also use it on other cards and a lot of people have mentioned that have gotten these they like these sentiments because they're bigger and bolder than um, other sets that you have um, traditionally got so once again this is DC 301 the Holly Berry stamp and cut XL stamp and die This one I absolutely love. This is one of my favorites. I love the font and I love the little um, snowflakes around it. And it's just a sentiment set. Fill your heart with joy. May the season bring you one merry mo moment one after another. Um, wishing you, you know, and they could put all the best inside. Um, but a really nice set of sentiments. And this one is called the Snowflake messages and I, I just love that I think this one will be really popular another stamp in die cut so you can see you have the outline for the tree the mistletoe and the ornaments in the dies and this one is called wishing you tree bundle SB324 and here is a really simple card just showing that it was embossed another bundle that is available and this one is called the Finch greetings bundle so you have two different um, Finch images, a couple different sentiments. So you can use this for Christmas. You can also use it any time of the year. There's the die set that goes with this. And here is a sample of just a really kind of simple card. Hello there.
Oh, I just saw this. I didn't see this. Here is a sample of that looking glass window with the little kitty. And then this, Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, was from that XL stamp set. Let's see if I can find that. This one is this. Okay. I love these little sets um, that because you have everything you need to make one stamp uh, or a card. You can add things from other sets and so on and so forth. But this is just really simple. You have this really sweet poinsettia and you have the pine and leaves and the holly branch and a beautiful bold sentiment. And this one is called Poinsettia Arrangement. Oh gosh, if they make these letters any smaller, CM647. And the last item in our shop box is this beautiful candle set. It has the sentiments merry and bright and peace. And this one is called Holiday Candle Arrangement, CM648. And here's just um, another simple card. So that is the new Hero Shop box. I believe at the end of the month, um, the rest of their collection will be released to us. This is what we have available in the store for now. And um, if, like I said, if there were any of these that you wanted um, to to get, just give us a call. And the, the number is 716-834-3540. You can also shoot me an email or message me, and we'll be sure to put these on the side and um, get in touch with you, and we'll go from there. So does anybody have any questions? So a lot of show and tell today. So Janet's here till 6 o'clock tonight, um, and tomorrow Janet is coming back from 10 to 3, so she's going to be here while I am having fun doing nothing. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to unwinding this weekend. So the weather's going to be beautiful, and um, so just looking forward to it. So are there any questions? Anybody have any questions about anything that we showed? Oh, thank you, Robin. And I'm really, that was really sweet that you called Charlene. It really meant a lot to her. And sorry about sending the wrong link. <laughs> oh, see, that's what happens when I get interrupted, um, you know, in doing something. I'm like a creature of habit. So I do something and I need to follow through to the end. Sometimes I'm really good at picking back up where I le uh, left off. But when I have uh, 5,000 things going through my head, um, that doesn't always happen. So we had a little snafu yesterday, but Charlene um, handled it and uh, got everybody back on track. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that, that little mix up. So next week, we are going to be showing some of the new classes that are coming up. Um, I, You know, Kim, I'm gonna grab some of the stuff and we may have a class with the, the beach stuff, we'll, you know, we'll see how um, everything goes. But we have time between uh, July and August to be doing that. So you still have pain. That's what Charlene said with the class yesterday. They did a mixed media class in store and online. And um, she said they have to probably plan an hour on cleanup. <laughs> so I am going to have fun doing nothing. So thanks, guys. So everyone else, have a wonderful, safe 4th of July. And, um, you know, we'll see you next Wednesday evening at 7. And I will, um, who knows what I have planned. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So, but we will be sharing some um, new classes coming up for the month um, sometime next week, whether that is on Wednesday or if it's going to be Friday or Saturday. I think 
I think Mona's on next Friday, so we'll have an, an extra bonus Facebook um, live next Friday. So happy 4th, everyone, and enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Oh, yeah, Honey Boot Bee is on its way. Um, should be here any day, so look for that next week. That would be a great class because I, I see a lot of possibilities with that. So I'm going to let you go. I could go on and on. Happy 4th.